Every once in a while I stop and recall the good old days. Way back before the invention of the internet and the coup d'etat of attention span draining cartoons. Times are so much simpler then. Remember the sit and spin? Toss across? The orby? Remember the hopperoo? Or the fortress of fangs? The evil horde slime pit? Yeah, those were the days. Things are different now. The kids, they don't have it so good. Their lives are saturated with next-gen video games, bargain basement TV, and corporate shills disguised as teen pop stars. To think about how things have changed for the worse, it makes one angry. And it is that anger which caused the re-emergence of what would eventually be known as Good Old Days Martial Arts. A 12th generation art, originating in Japan's Edo period, early 1600s. Martial law dictated that only samurai were permitted to wield swords. Resourceful downtown villagers, desperate to defend themselves, used toys and trinkets as deadly weapons. And thus, Good Old Days Martial Arts was born. Meet Temari Kaminariman, a cherubish young girl who happens to be a master of good old days martial arts. Her mind is not poisoned by Pokemon or any of today's mindless trappings. She was raised to appreciate the simpler days of yore, and those playthings of yesteryear, tossed aside and forgotten by the masses, they are her weapons. Temari can chuck any type of ball with knockout speed. She can wield a paddle ball as if it were nunchucks. There's her iron top maneuver, in which she can flick little metal tops from between her fingers with the accuracy of ninja shurikens. Not only are they machete sharp, but they're also explosive. There's the dreaded Cat's Cradle 100 thread, one of her most deadly attacks. Tamara uses innocent looking yarn to string up her opponents in a giant web, leaving them helpless. And then there's the pièce de résistance. The Fire Flower Bean Bag Endless Downpour! Remember when hacky sacking was popular? Tamari sure didn't forget. After juggling the miniature bean bags in hypnotic fashion. Juggling, 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 juggling. Tamari stretches out her arms, calling forth endless waves of bean bag bedlam which inflict significant damage. While the barrage is endless, there are actually only four true projectiles. The hypnosis of Tamari's juggling camouflages the beanbags in a sea of many. The good old days martial artist, through much concentration, can also create baseball card tornadoes and control marbles with pinpoint accuracy. Call them old fashioned, call them crazy, call them what you will, but these martial artists are capable of amazing feats of strength and mental trickery and are not to be messed with under any circumstances. Tamari may fit the description of a little kid, but her mystique transcends her appearance as she strikes fear in the hearts of any who own a dojo. She travels the world with her entourage, lanky older fellows whose identities are shielded by masks of nostalgic childhood idols, each one exceptionally trained in the good old days style. I think it's safe to say that everything that Tamari knows, she learned from them. Tamari is a practitioner in the shady art of... All together now... Dojo Yabori! She travels from land to land, challenging Dojo's prize students to sparring sessions. Should she win, and trust me, she always does, she steals away the Dojo's sign as a trophy and symbol of ownership. Basically, it's an attempt to cast a shadow on the Dojo, and it is frowned upon by martial artists in general. Having no place to call their home, Tamari and her cadre of superheroes sleep outdoors, and in the ultimate act of degradation, use the dojo's signs as firewood. Such blatant, disgusting disregard. Tamari is cute, Tamari is playful, but she has endless burning hatred for those who don't share her ideals, and she will show the world what she deems the truth. Her way is the right way, and the dojos will topple like so many falling dominoes. Sickened by today's youth, Tamari wants to experience the good old days like they were, and she will force this rhetoric on everyone, big and small, in the futile hope that one day, things will completely revert to the way they once were, a blessed utopia, 
free from bright lights and loud noise, where a child need but only his or her imagination to go on an adventure. A world without Pokemon. So I invite you all, watching this video, to get up out of your seats right now, rummage through your attics, dust off those old muscle figures, air out your WWF wrestling buddy. Hell, I for one wouldn't mind riding old Inchworm again. Take a good hard look at these trinkets of days past, for they are your future! They are no longer toys, they are now your first line of defense in the war. You will join in the assimilation of good old days martial arts, for in the end, when the smoke is cleared and the dust is settled, there will be only one victor. The golden age of Temari Kaminarimon is nigh! This has been a Ranma one half character profile.